Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Someone once said, uh, religion is the opiate of the masses. Religion is the opiate of the masses. In other words, religion is a drug that people around the world are addicted to religions. It intoxicates the people of the world. Religion is the opiate of the masses. Whoever said that, whoever coined that term, I think it was Lenin, the communist, but whoever said it, they weren't saying it uh, as a compliment. It was a pejorative. In other words, it kind of reminds me of someone that made a comment uh, on my channel years ago. They said that uh, religion is uh, for the weak people, people who need a crutch. Well, in other words, uh, religion is a drug that some people need because they're weak. Well, it may surprise you but I am not going to defend religion. I am anti-religion. I am not religious and I believe that all the religions of the world, every single one of you, one of the religions, all they're doing is sending people to hell. Religions give people a false sense of security because all religions are basing salvation on what you have to do for God in order to satisfy God. Religion is simply a system of things that you are required to do in order to earn approval from God. But Christianity is not religion. Christianity is not based upon what we do for God. Christianity is based upon what Christ has done for us. Jesus Christ, God Almighty, God in the flesh. God came down from heaven, was manifest in the flesh, became a man named Jesus Christ. He lived a sinless perfect life because none of us could do it. No matter how hard we tried to follow commandments, follow religious rules, we all failed, all through history we've all failed. We all fall short of the glory of God. God knew that we were failures and we would continue to fail because God required perfection. If you want to be right with God, if, if you want to go to heaven after you die, you have to be perfect. Jesus said, go and be perfect. Just as your Father in heaven is perfect. None of us are perfect. No matter how hard we try, none of us can be perfect. But God is perfect. And God loves us so much God does not desire that any of us should perish in hell. So, in order to save us, God did the one thing that could save us. He became a man named Jesus Christ and He lived a sinless, perfect life. And when we put our faith in Jesus Christ as our Savior, His sinless perfection is credited to us. It's imputed to us his righteousness. 
And Jesus Christ died on a cross for our sins. He said he came to give his life as a ransom. A ransom is a payment made to set someone free. Jesus Christ paid with his life and his blood. He paid the price so that we could be set free from condemnation. The Bible says we're already condemned. If you believe on Jesus as your Savior, you're not condemned. If you do not believe on Jesus as your Savior, you are condemned right now. So, to pay the ransom so that we could be free from that condemnation, God became a man and He died for our sins. And then He proved that he is God and he proved that he succeeded in defeating death hell and the grave because he raised himself from the dead after three days so Christianity is based upon our reliance on Christ for our salvation and not our trusting our own righteousness to get to heaven. So there's there's not one religion of the world that will get you to heaven because our religions simply tell you a list of things that you're required to do. Muslims say Pray five times a day on a rug. Make a pilgrimage to Mecca. They have five things you've got to do. But Roman Catholics, they have seven sacraments that they say you must do. Baptism, confession, communion, confirmation. Every religion tells you you've got to do, do, do. But Christianity says it's done. Jesus Christ has done it. It is finished. He lived a sinless perfect life. He gives us credit for that sinless perfection when we put our faith in Him. He paid for our sins on the cross so that we wouldn't have to when we put our faith in Him, when we believe that He died for our sins, when we believe that He is our Savior, that we're going to heaven because of what He has done for us, then He credits us with His righteousness and we are no longer condemned. He gives us the gift of eternal life in heaven. He, he gives us the gift of salvation. We don't have to go to hell. He gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God comes to live inside every believer and transforms us into a child of God. We become regenerated as a new creature because the Holy Spirit lives inside us forever. So, if you're trying to get into heaven through your religion, you're going to fail. You, there's not one religion that can save you. You can join all the religions of the world. You can perform all the religious acts of all the religions. And you will still end up in hell. Because the Bible says in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace... Are you saved through faith? God is gracious. Grace means He gives us something wonderful that we do not deserve. God is gracious and we're saved through faith in Jesus Christ as our Savior. And this salvation, it says, it's not of ourselves. 
Salvation does not come from ourselves, from our own merit. It says it is the gift of God. Salvation is the gift God gives us graciously when we have put our faith in Jesus as our Savior. The verse goes on to say, it's not of works. It's talking about religious works. Baptism, confession, chari charitable giving, repenting of your sins. He says, not of works, lest any man should boast. But most of the religious people I, I meet are I ask them why they're going to heaven and they, they start boasting about that they stop sinning, they go to church, they do this. It's all about them. It's not about you. It's about Jesus Christ. What will you do with Jesus? Will you rely on Him? Or are you going to try to get into heaven based upon your own merit? Well, it says in Romans 3, 27, 28, it says, we conclude, this is the Apostle Paul saying, that we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. In the sight of God, we are justified. God sees us as justified by our faith in Jesus Christ without the deeds of the law, without any, any deeds, without any repentance of sins, without any participation in, in religion, without baptism, without confession, without lighting candles, without praying on a rug, without going to Mecca, without doing any religious deeds, we're justified without any of them, simply because of our faith in the Savior. That's faith alone. It says we're justified by faith without the deeds of the law. That says we're justified by faith alone. Titus 3.5 says not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us. Do you know the difference between grace and mercy? Grace means that God is gracious enough to give us something that we don't deserve, something good, eternal life in heaven. Mercy means that God is so merciful that he does not give us the bad thing that we do deserve. Hell. God shows us mercy. We don't have to go to hell because of our faith in Jesus Christ. And it says, not by works of righteousness which we have done. So you can join all the religions, you can do all the religious works you want, but, and I encourage you to do all the good deeds you want. I'm all for it. But if you're going to base your salvation on that, you're going to end up in hell. If God said to you, at the judgment, why should I let you into heaven? If you start trying to justify yourself in the sight of God, based upon your own merit, on your conduct, on your performance, you're going straight to hell. We're justified by our faith, not by our works. All right. So uh, I do agree with uh, Lenin, or whoever said that, that uh, religion is the opiate of the masses. There's not a good religion in the world. Some of you are going to say, well, Christianity is a religion. Well, based upon how I just defined religion, I, I don't classify Christianity as a religion. Maybe Christianity is. is people have turned Christianity into religion because they put in religious rules and, and, and personal merit in order to get to heaven. That's Christianity. That would be a religion. But Christianity is not a religion because it's not based on our own merit it's based upon our reliance on Christ 
All right. I look forward to your comments. Thank you.